Now it's time to go to work, but I gotta take a look before I leave. So that's a big difference uh, from what I was looking at yesterday water-wise, but there's still quite a bit of tint in the in the water, which is fine. It just means <laughs> the yarn had enough. It had enough with the the dye load. This looks very, very dark. I feel like toner black would not have done this on its own. I would have to experiment, but yeah. Wowzers. That is much darker in person than it looks like on the screen. Yep. It was the night before Christmas. Hi, <laughs> Bubu. Doo doo! A babies! What you doing? Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is how I drove to work and home. This is what happens to my damn tire. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think I need to wash my car, guys. Okay, so um. You might be wondering what kind of tree this is since I keep talking about my Whomping Willow. That's my Whomping Willow. Because of that stub there. That Just like the Whomping Willow, guys, look! There's even like this metal post that goes right through it to support it. I don't know, it's been here. It's probably a hundred year old tree, I don't know. I don't know, it's pretty amazing. But what it does is it grows absolutely everywhere everywhere and it grows really really fast see there's another baby over there there's like three or four over there there's a whole bunch in the in the, i was gonna say in the kitchen or the living room but it's not it's not growing through the, any of those places it's in the front garden there's a whole bunch of them over there they grow absolutely everywhere I know it's an Asian tree. I know it's not common to this country. I know it's not native to this country. I am dumb. I don't know how to use words. Sometimes they just refuse to come. Oh. Anyway, I have my leaf snap again. I downloaded it yesterday because guess who thought it would be cute to let Dante grab one of the uh, leaves that I was wrapping around yesterday into the um, wreath. Yeah. I mean, it was like, ha ha ha, because he's been trying to like grab it and I'm all, no, don't do that. Mostly because I wanted to use it, not for any other reason. And then finally he just goes and snaps it up and runs away with it all so cute that I just laughed like, it was just so cute the way he did his little booty and his little paws like, oh, I got it, I got it. And he ran straight to his bed and no one's going to take it from him. And he's got the thing and he started crunching on it and I realized, I, I don't know if it's toxic. And he's really eating it. So I'm like, okay. So I had to download my leaf snap again. I, I'm, the only reason I'm mentioning that is because I had removed it to make room for all these vlogs that I know are gonna be taking up a lot of space and I didn't wanna get stuck on this vlog thing. You guys, there is a peanut in this bush, okay? Um, yeah, and that's the dogs. Whoa, Luca, 
stop. She likes to grab Dante by the ear and I hate that. Um, huh. Somebody took the nut and dropped it. Yep, nut's gone. That's so, but I don't, how do they get it out like that? How do they get it? How do they get the nut out? Oh my God. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do the leaf snap because I got the leaf snap because yesterday, Dante's not poisoned. He's okay. Um, it It's an olive tree, baby olive tree, which is over there. Like you can see it way past over there between these things over there that's the olive trees in the back and it's the same kind of tree and it's not toxic and it's okay and he won't die but these are toxic so this tree i don't let him chew on even though it's probably okay because they've chewed on it before i take it away from them but i don't want them to get sick anyway let's take a look at see and see what name this is uh what the species this is okay got it it's the china berry tree china berry also known as the persian lilac the i don't know if it's these little berries or something uh i'm not sure if do the berries come from the flowers the flowers must come from somewhere so um it has this amazing fragrant flower uh that uh, appears in the spring and, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I think that this does have some medicinal qualities. You could probably uh, use it for some sort of anti-inflammatory, perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, I should probably research it a little bit more because I'm trying to do that. Dante wants to go inside the house. Sorry, guys. Hold on. You were saying? Where? Wh what did he do? What did he do? As soon as I got here, he's like, yep, please take me inside. Thank you. Open the door. It's cold outside. Thank you. It's nipply. Bit nipply. Wow. So, yeah, I want to do some research on the China berry tree and see what it does. I know there's a tree that I have, a little bush that I've got out there that does these beautiful flowers uh, in the spring, spring, summer and you can make tea out of it yeah i gotta look i gotta look it's really uh fun and fascinating to learn about all the plants that you've got all around you and you don't even know what they can do they can all do something so it's really nice um right now what i'm doing is i want to take like some more i think i have a holly ish looking type tree i don't know what kind of tree it is i'll go and check it out again I've got, i i did the leaf snap on all the things that i was interested in here uh in the backyard because it's so big back there i've never been anywhere where i have <laughs> more than like a one or two trees um so it's it's just amazing we got so lucky that the owner didn't want to live here anymore because because it's too big for them uh and so yeah i'm taking like whatever twigs and and things that i can from the outside and i just made that one wreath which is not the best looking wreath but i feel like i can learn how to do it a little bit better and that would be really nice and imagine when it's dry like it's just it's gonna be there right once it's dry then the wood is there it's not gonna undo itself right i don't think it will i don't know i think i don't think it will um the china berry tree is also really great for making baskets so i i feel like i i have so many of those little bushes that really should not exist it should not be on the property it should not be allowed to propagate everywhere like indiscriminately which is what the china berry tree is notorious for um and as i said it's not native to this to, to like North America or anywhere in the Americas. Um, it's also, did I say that it was also called the Persian lilac? It smells so good. I mean, it smells so good. It's, it's amazing. So, oh my God. Look at 
Let's take a look at advent number five. Where am I? Yes, admin number five. <sighs> Why is that looking slightly green to me? No, it's it cannot be. I need my glasses. <laughs> it's um weird, right? Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go rinse it. Oh my god. Why did I let that go? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go rinse it. Oh my fucking god. It's fucking green. It's green. It's green what the fuck what the fuck the most amazing green I've ever seen I can't wait to see this dry That's good, nothing. So obviously you guys are aware that things are not always what they appear on the screen. So even though you can see a nice, like you can clearly see there's a green hue, you know, you see the green hue to this. In person, it barely looks green, not even like an olive like it looks olive on your screen here but in my face it looks like a like a dark military green um had i been trying to get that color never would have happened but you know i really feel like I was deceived. I really do. Like, I cannot believe the color I was looking at yesterday and even this morning versus what I just came home to. And I, I'm not sure, but it could have a lot to do with, this is where it was originally, and there is nothing, no color in here whatsoever. So whatever little bit of tint was sitting there, it really just needed to, like it really took its time to soak in. And I feel like this is probably not gonna be easy to reproduce because of that reason. Because it took so long for that to exhaust. I don't know. Um, it's not It's not giving me any any dye at all whatsoever. So that's good. Okay, let's look at this in the light. Wow, now what you're seeing is what I'm seeing indoors. <laughs> I don't like that. I want to show you what I see. <sighs> Frustrating. Frustrating. No. I'm looking at a beautiful army green. Okay, how about I turn this way a little? Mm, not quite. Let me see if I can find a different spot. More light, less light. Yeah, I feel like that's about as good as it's going to get. Oh, okay. So I have a reminder going off right now that I have to deal with. 
no it's just not giving the color that i that i'm seeing it's a it's an army green um it's i can't believe if i had tried to get this kind of green i wouldn't have gotten it and it's got like streaks of black obviously because of the toner black i'm so freaking impressed with this color i can't even i really cannot like now at first i wanted a sweater with um, of either figgy pudding or spiced black currant and now oh my goodness I can't believe it I just cannot I'm gonna let this dry guys oh my god I'm gonna let this dry I think the name still stands I think I'm still gonna call it twas the night before Christmas and I feel like it's still a, a good name <laughs> That's kind of, kind of what I'm seeing. It is just real dark, guys. But it, but it's a little bit brighter in person. Gosh, I wish I was better at this. Oh man, one day, one day I'll be a good photographer. Not quite getting it. It's just a little bit brighter than that. It's not as, not as toned down as that. It's just a little bit brighter. Just a tiny, tiny bit of a more, like, like army green. Army green. Not, not that kind of green, but just a little bit brighter. Oh, God. I'm so bummed out that I can't show this properly. God dang it. Luca, if you mess with my mini, I swear to God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let it go. You know what I'm gonna do to you? You know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm going to put you up for sale. No. I'm not going to put you up for sale. I'm going to give you up for adoption. I'm going to put you in a home. Someone else's home. Not my home. Someone else's. No, don't lick me. Don't lick the camera. No. No, don't lick me either. I don't want to talk to you right now. You are not my friend. I don't want to know you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Don't lick my yarn. Don't eat my yarn. No, 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 no. No, give me a kiss. Oh my god. 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 I'm not talking to you right now. I'm not talking to you. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't, don't follow me. I'm not going to give you any treats you're not getting anything not at all not all night long not at all not not one little treat not one cookie not one crumble not nothing why why'd you do this because i told you not to uh play too hard with dante that's why that's why oh you little <laughs> I can't be mean to you, mama. I can't be mean to you, goofy girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my God, mommy, oh my God. You're so dramatic. You're so dramatic, mommy. You're so dramatic. Why are you such a drama queen? And now what? Now, they're standing there waiting, waiting for their treats because they're so awesome. They're so awesome and amazing. How many dogs do you have? And how many mishaps with your yarn stash have you had? Probably what is the worst one that has ever happened to you? Because that, that was nearly my worst. I'm tying my own yarn advent. It's beautiful. I'm ecstatic. I'm overjoyed. And this little... <laughs> Could you see her snapping at my yarn? Just She's not tearing it because she knows better than that. But that was her throwing the biggest F.U. fest ever that ever have I seen from a dog. She was like, oh, hell no. You're not going to tell me that I can't play with, with my brother. Excuse me? Excuse me, was that like you telling me I want a treat? Like it's not coming fast enough? Oh, I can't with these dogs today. I can't. I've created little monsters. Okay? I've created little... This is me having an epic meltdown. Okay? Yeah. This is what that looks like. My mom would have beat me with a belt. She would have beat me with a buckle. Okay? So I'm going to tell you. When I was your age, I walked in the snow. I didn't because it's California and everybody knows there's no snow here. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh my god uh, is that gonna be the title of my uh, next episode uh the bitch stole my mini <laughs> okay guys i am going to grab the yarn from the yarners i just got what i was thinking about not shopping not turning off my shop during christmas i'll never know uh, but you know what? It's nice because it's kind of keeping me busy. There's not not like a ton of orders. There never is. But a little trickle in here and there is nice. It gives me something to look forward to. And uh, so I got to get those things ready. And I'm feeling the, the burn because it's Christmas time. And I don't want people to wait for their yarn during Christmas. So I'm like literally dying it right this second and putting it in the mail as soon as it's dry. So, I'm going to go do some, uh, soak some yarn, and I'm going to take a nap, have some dinner, and get dying, because it's going to take me all night to get those things done. And my mini, i got to roll for my mini, so I'm going to roll for my mini first, then I'm going to soak all my yarn, etc, etc. You, you got the drill. Okay, bye. Autobots, roll. Don't make any noise. Stop it. Here we go. You know what? I want the purple one. Oh, it's a 13. That's another solid. That's an easy die day for me. All right. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Oh, okay. So... First one is a 16, second color is a 17, third color is 15, fourth color is 15. That is a automatic do-over. Mm. Rollies. All right. That looks like a four and that looks like an eight. Perfection. Now, here's the D4s coming. 
the die for strength. Die for strength. Strength for die. All right, the first number, 16 is a four. 17 is a four. Four is a one. Eight is a two. Yay! We got our colors for our next dye day number six. When I'm doing yarn for customers, I do like to give it a nice uh, bath with water and vinegar um, as a pre-soak. Obviously, you have to do it anyway, but I like to add the vinegar in there just in case. Just in case on that crazy off chance, I already added some, but I just want to add a little bit extra. Whoa there. Whoa there. I like to do that just in case I ever forget. I just in case I ever forget to add vinegar to the water to the dye bath which I really don't but um just in case and you really cannot have enough I'm not agitating the yarn I'm just kind of working the bubbles out because since I'm not gonna soak it overnight I want to make sure that I get an, a good saturation. I'm sure people don't like, you know, when you've got lots and lots of yarn, you don't do this. Like you've got lots and lots of orders to do, big, bigger yarn dyers, even though they're indie, if they've got lots and lots of Yarn, no one's gonna sit there and squish the yarn to get the air bubbles out. Like, we just, you throw them in, you smush them down, and you usually just let it soak overnight or a couple of hours. Some people say 30 minutes is good enough. Um, I've only done that for myself, and it is good enough. But for customers, I always make sure I soak much longer and with a little bit extra vinegar to make sure I have no issues because although I might have a little dye in the water sometimes like a little bit of a tint that's a tint that's not a bleed so I like that extra vinegar helps to make sure that that absolutely happens or doesn't even happen at all okay look at what happens when I tilt the water that I definitely couldn't see. Look at that. I couldn't see that even when I had it in my hands. But when you do that, you can definitely see there's still a little bit of color, but not a lot. So that's good. And it didn't bleed. So that's even better. But wow, I was about to soak my new mini in that. That would have changed my results. So I'm glad I didn't. All right. Whoop. Got my mini going. That water is really cold. I'm starting to feel hungry, so. Oh. I'll straighten it out later. Yay! All right. So. Pour espresso. That's weird. The whole top came off. That's aggravating. Ugh, look at my finger now. Four avocado. God 
God dang it. That's the problem when when the the cup comes. It's hard to explain. God dang it. All right, just a tiny one tiny spoon of tangelo. I still don't even know what that color really looks like on its own. And two bits of teal green. I got a little bit extra. Now what I'm going to do is give this a swirl in some hot water and get started. Okay, today I'm going to use my flat pounds for some orders. So I've switched pots, but I've got my dye all done. Um, I get the feeling I'm going to end up with another green. I, I don't know, because there's a lot of avocado green in this one. Maybe it'll be more on the brown side. I don't know. It's just too, too soon to tell. So, I don't know. Let me, let me see. A lot of times, if you're not sure, you might get the colors here. Um, this is impossible. I don't, I'm only going to know either when this paper dries or when the yarn gets done. But it's, to me, looking like a grayish green. It's going to be hard to tell. Uh, but I'm not going to put this on the heat yet. i got to do these orders. Well, I'm going to turn the heat up right now, actually. I want to turn it up to a 4. Um, let this heat up while I start mixing up. Why did I turn both of them on? I only need one because this is a pot. So I'm going to turn the, crank the heat up. And uh, let this heat, set it aside when I'm ready to start dyeing my orders. Double pom poms on there. These have been super popular this year. Just sat down. Pom -pom hats. Just sat down. So, to edit my video so that I can go to bed, so I just left all my dye orders in the kitchen. My mini, I haven't even looked at it. It's probably not even done being exhausted. Like, I just left it on the floor. I just left it on the floor. So I'm going to have to go get it because I don't want the cat to drink the water. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Okay, but, so, Andy the Nitris literally just posted this like 16, 25 seconds ago. It says 25 seconds up there. And here I am editing my video. I spent my evening doing that and watching some vlogmases. Oh, I'm super excited! My I goodness, had my package. Oh um, my goodness, on her little vlogmas. This is so meta. I'm excited to get it. I want to see it. And she wrapped everything in wrapping paper. Um, I hope she doesn't want me to wait until Christmas no, to open it because I don't. Gonna open as soon as it got I want to rip it all apart. <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind either way. No, but I'm no, I won't. To open that. <laughs> I'm having this is wax, you guys. I'm having so much fun this vlogmas. It's probably the best vlogmas I have ever had in my life, and it's because I'm, you know, I'm making friends. Like I'm actually making. I made an effort to make friends. Um. And I have, I have friends, you guys. That's I'm saying that wrong. It's just I feel like I've I've been so scared just to be myself. Ooh, I'm so jelly. I I was gonna order one. I probably shouldn't be recording the video the song here. Hold on. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't wait. What does it look like? Ooh. 
I forgot what I was saying because my husband interrupted me. But I just want to say the friends that I've made this year for Vlogtober and Vlogmas, I'm so happy. Like, this has been so fun, right? <laughs> Is it just me? I don't know. I hope... Andy, when you get your package, I hope you like it. Or I hope you love it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you have any issues with it, let me know. Like, let me know whatever it is. Do not, no matter what, be afraid to let me know if there's a problem. Um, regardless. So, alright. I just want to put that out there. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to edit my video. And then I'm going to go to bed. But I'm probably not going to upload it until tomorrow morning um because by the time it renders it'll be very very late it's already very late um and it's gonna be really hard to wake up in the morning the way i got through my day today after all the running around with luca and uh needing to do all the work that i needed to do and my leg being in the kind of pain that it's in i'm out of acetaminophen like i just like i don't even know what to do right now um, and I've been thinking about getting back on the Lyric Up just for the pain that I'm in right now. Um, my husband gave me a muscle relaxer, you guys. <laughs> oh, and you know what? It's amazing. I, I, are they addictive? I don't, I don't really remember. I don't know. And I'm going to talk to my doctor and ask them if they can give me something like that that I could take like maybe once in a while when I feel my absolute worst and I absolutely have to get through my day um because it was really nice that I was able to dye three yarn orders like not three yarn orders but three separate orders I was able to get through that today because of that plus get my mini dyed um I mean it for me, that that's huge. And take a shower, and eat, and take a nap, and, you know, like, watch videos and YouTube, and I didn't get any knitting done, but, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for being my friends and talking to me, and I know I still have people to respond to, but I swear, I, like, read every single comment already. Um... I know it's not like a lot of comments to go through, but for me, like, I don't have time, you guys. I really don't. It's just terrible. I, I work so far away. My commute is so long, and I have very few hours in the day to chit-chat or whatever. Um, so I kind of just sneak it in at work. Don't tell anybody. Probably everybody knows. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> uh.